Amen. Amen. Today I want to tweak something here and there. You know, um, I would like us to do our possible best to watch uh, Wisdom. Wisdom 182. Because some part of this testimony, as a testimony, is um, God revealed some of it to me, of which I, I shared in that wisdom 182. Please put it for us. I would like us as well to welcome um, Sister Sarah. Amen. Can you stand up, my beloved sister? Can someone give a clap of the Lord Jesus? Can somebody just go there and welcome again? We are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. I can see all over you the glory of our Lord. You are welcome in the name. Hallelujah. You know, um, last week, the Lord wake me up, the Lord wake me up um, on Monday, Monday, last week, Monday, and then I wake up, the Lord wake me up and I saw myself, I just wake up with this word, God, thy face will I seek, thy face will I seek, thy face will I seek. This is the word that, you know, wake me up. And I keep singing that as a song. I say, God, thy face will I seek. Thy face will I seek. Thy face will I seek. And I went to see what, what's happening. Why am I singing this song? Thy face will I seek. Amen. Amen. Then, this week, this week, something happened. Um, it was in our uh, wisdom 182. I did the full test money there, you know, with 182. Because I just waked up and I said, no, I have to give this test money. So I was in this um, a rocket um, truck. It is a rocket truck. The reason why I say it's a rocket truck is it was so, you know, beating everywhere, dirty and like panel beating, if you know what to call panel beating in Nigeria, they beat this. It was just like that rocket, but the driver is in front. So I saw myself lying down on that plane, back at the back of that plane truck, but the roof was open. So I was lying down on the back of that very rocket truck, and it was going through these hills and valley, and you know, throwing me around and taking, you know, going at the corner of the uh, uh, of the mountains. And down and I went up and when I woke up I was in that very rugged truck and it was pushing me everywhere and then I went up and I lift up my hand and I said where am I where am I where am I where am I so as I lift up my hand say where am I where am I who is driving me where am I then as I was shouting where am I then the Lord Jesus Christ Break up his face. He is one driving. He looked at me. Amen. Amen. He looked at me. I said, Oh, I put my two hands in my chest. It's the Lord. Is the Lord driving me? Is the Lord driving me? And you know what happened? Straight away, the devil was very close. Let me tell you, the devil is never far from you. Never. I know that. I know that. I know that. I know that. I know. That. I know. <laughs> so, by the side, they will just appear. I said, oh, another mistake of Jesus. <laughs> Praise God. And I said, no. I said, Jesus cannot make mistake. Jesus cannot make mistake. Jesus cannot make mistake. And then Jesus just looked to the devil and the devil disappeared. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then Jesus kept driving me. Then he bring me to a level ground. He gave me, he bring me to a level ground and then he stopped me. And then he looked at me and he says, Now you walk. That's the street you are looking for. That's the city 
you are looking for. I said, what? He says, what town? That's the city you are looking for. And I looked. Behold, beautiful city. Beautiful city. As I was going close it, then I walked up. And I said, wow. Beautiful city. Why did I wake up? <laughs> I should get into that city. Dream, dream. Love the dream, love the dream. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Good. 
sowing seed. This is our uh, theme for the month. So I, I want us to give, me and my wife to give the testimony of sowing seed. And I want to listen to this testimony. We're going to give three testimonies. We've got a lot of testimonies in sowing seed. But I want us to listen to three testimonies. Amen. And we're gonna, I'm going to start from my wife. Um, the seed that she sowed in Nigeria, in our church in Nigeria, when I travel back to London, that's the seed that you told me that you sowed. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah, um, was it 2005? Yeah. Yeah, that was in London, but then, then me and the kids, we are in Nigeria doing some certain works. So I sowed a seed in the church, in our ministry in Nigeria. I volunteered to be cleaning the house of God. This thing, this is the seed she sowed. I didn't sow the seed with money. Mm -hmm. Let it just, I let a, a, a seed of wax. I said, in the church, I stand on the altar. I said, the day I will continue to clean this church, whether rain, whether sun, I will never stop until I leave Nigeria. I come back to London. And through this seed I'm sowing today, Lord, you will make a way for me. Amen. You will make a way for my children. Amen. You will make a way wherever I lay my hand, it will prosper. Amen. So, as I just I continue, do you see me sometimes when I'm cleaning the house of God with the children? But that's why they are so little, 2005. Yeah, they are so little. And immediately it's Six o'clock in the evening, every Saturday, I will take them, drive them to the church. We start cleaning the church, cleaning the church. Nobody, all our members, I don't know why they find it difficult to join to clean the church, but I'm happy with God, I'm happy doing it because I know the flower I made with God. So, they sometimes, if I'm doing, we are cleaning the church with, with my children, they are passing by, immediately I finish, they say, Oh, mommy. Oh, thank you. You finish. I said, oh, I finish. So behold, on my the result of my farm, the time we are planning to come. I don't have visa by then. I don't have visa to come to London. But I know that I'm coming to London. But I know I say, God, I know you will make a way. So but to now my farm. We are, we my husband and daddy send them money, send money to one of our cousin, one of their cousin. To prepare our visa. So, on the preparation of the visa, there was an announcement that if you have reached that, that's, that's the, point, that's the, the law, law in Nigeria at that time, that if you have reached that, you are not going to get, if you want to travel to abroad, you are not going to get a visa. That's an amount of my is visa. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, so crossing, yeah, reaching that. Uh, that's yeah, the moment. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so one of my um, that is a, a brother came. Oh, auntie, have you had the news that uh, any, anyone that have reached that they are not going to issue this again? I said, forget about. It. I said, I know my redeemer. I know I will. Whatever happens, then go. The gate will not close before me. So you see, whether they are giving visa or not giving visa for to the people that have reached this age. I say I know that I'm going to get it. Amen. Immediately I met this one. The next two days, the person that was preparing our visa came. I mean, call us that we, our visa has come. Hallelujah. Yeah. Wow, wow, Praise wow, God. Wow, wow. Praise God. Hallelujah. This is one. This seed is a seed. It's a very good seed. That's just as Pastor Eugene said. The seed we are talking of is not only money. You sow the seed of time. Yeah. You sow the seed working for God, going evangelizing, preaching the good news. It's a seed that you are sowing. Then, right here, I was busy praying and praying and praying. One day, the Holy Spirit came to me and said, you got to do something. You prayed a lot. Now, you got to sow a seed. Amen. I remember, I wrote a check, a check of 200 pounds, and I sold it as a seed. 
And immediately I saw that seed in the house of God. The next week, I had a call. They have been rejected several times. Amen. Amen. The next week, I had a call from Nigeria that your family have got a visa. Amen. 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 The power of seed. Pastor Eugene gave a message last Sunday. Says there is power in the seed. Amen. Amen. And there is another power of seed that my wife do. She take a challenge, which surprises me. You know, when everyone was here, do you want to give that testimony? Yeah. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah, it was on 2016. Yep. Rafa knows about it. He and Rafa joined us in the course. Yes. You know, yeah. I was at work. I, I, daddy dropped me at work. There was two ladies from my own country, Nigeria. They said that uh, they, are, daddy, they are taking me like a queen. Everybody is respecting me at the place of work. My, my leg is not touching the ground. They bring me up, they bring, bring me down. That I'm dressing like a queen. That is where that they are going to give me at the place of work. They are going to give me at the place of work. And even I, if I reach my, keep on telling that they say, look at, they say, one day they will kill someone here and they will go free. And they say, I should keep on short, I should not. So, so, so is it. I never say a word, whatever they are saying. One day they cook everything. Immediately I enter in the locker room, then this locker room to change. Let's right. Let's right. Then let's go to the court side. So we the, the case reached court. It reached court. Rafa is aware of it. Yeah. So at the end of the day, the, my, my our document is in the home office yeah. around that time. So it was in the home office. Even my children gone. Everybody gone. All my children, not not daddy, but um, three of my children. All our officer was in the home office because of this case. They hold it, not to give it to us. So they wrote to us. They wrote because of the criminal. And because of this case, it's a criminal case. Yes. So they seized all the visa and everything. Yeah, because the lady that fought me, they, they said that she was uh, 15 weeks pregnant. Yeah. And she was claiming that I punched her 10 times. <laughs> so at the end of the day, they test everything, even whether I punch her. Nothing shows that I got the lady. Mm -hmm. They are the one that fought me. So at the end of the day, when, they, when the home office was holding the letter, the case was still going on in the court, going on, going on. I call, I told them, which is precious, peace. I said, I'm not going to tell daddy because I don't want anybody to delay me on this visa. I mean, on the sea. Because if you tell me now, tomorrow, you will give me the money. I said, I need, I said, I, say, I need, I just, I don't want it, something that will make me angry. Give me the money and I don't want to leave it tomorrow. I said, no, let me use the money, the one I have. And they will collect money from my children, then I will sow the seed. Then when I gather all the minute I tell them I want to let us sow a seed. He said, Mommy, you say you want to sow a seed. He said, Yes. I gather them. I said, bring this amount, bring this amount, bring this amount. They all brought the money together because the one I have, we put it in the envelope. So I told Daddy, even in the, was it in the night when we were praying, I brought the envelope. I said, you will not know how much the, how much that was inside this um, envelope. So, but I want to, all of us, hold it, gather together and pray over it. It's a seed. I'm sending immediately this seed rich in Algeria. I'm not, it's not for my brothers. It's not neither for, is it for my sisters. It's for the people that I don't know. I told my brother, no, you know people that is outside, they are suffering. This money is going to them. No money. I don't want it to be to any of my family. So, it's a seed. Because we are in the all my family they are in the Lord, so they know what seed is all about. So immediately they, I said that this seed I'm sowing, as I, when we are praying, I said as soon as this money reach to the people that I, uh, my brother mentioned that we are going to give this money, that day, that is the day the home office will release my visa. Because I even I have even called the M M. Stella, we have called the name of the lady Stella. I told Stella that it has been a burden which has been stressing me. I don't know why the home office is still holding my documents. I need my document. I need my children document. So after I finished with the Stella, after I finished with the MP, I told I saw I gathered the money from my children, my own. I said that we are praying over it. I don't want you to know how much how much it was. 
I want this seed to go out and the day this seed we reach to the people, that's the day they will be the people. That is my our document. So shall it be. Yeah, so immediately I call my brother the next day. We remit the money. I said, Have you spread the seed as I told you? He said, Yes, and I have done it. The next day, that is the day the home office release our visa. Amen. Can somebody give a clap of it to our Lord Jesus? It was it was a crippling time. My children, my daughter was going to university, peace, pr uh, uh, precious, you know, nothing working. My wife, her job, she can't work because her visa has already finished. So everything was bam, are together. We are not, there's no movement. So she come up, she told me that her dad teach her about seed sowing. I did not know she can. I do not know what's happening. She collect money from patients, from peace, from precious by herself. She bring this money. Was like six hundred and something pounds. She bring it on the envelope, and then she bring it. Says, "I'm sowing this as a seed for the purpose." So, seed is different from offering and from tithe. Mm -hmm. Seed is sown for a special purpose. Amen. Amen. So then. After we prayed, I tell you, my, my lawyer was what she, my lawyer was saying, what's happening? What is happening? The home office used special delivery. Amen. Can somebody shout amen? amen? Special delivery to bring it from home office to my lawyer's office. Can somebody shout a big amen? amen? And I was on the way dropping my daughter. But you know what happened that day? <laughs> Remember when I was dropping you on the, on the way and then we get a call. We got a call from our lawyer. And my lawyer, my lawyer called me and said, Do you have you heard? I said, What? He said, There's something, there's something. How are you doing? He started asking me some good things, saying some good thing. And I said, Okay, what's happening? He says, Your children in the police day has come. And I said, what? <laughs> Praise God. So our God is a good God. Our God is a good God. See, it works. There is power in a seed. But I want to tell for me, can see that. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Another one I'm going to. Ask. Yeah. What? On, on, Sunday. on Sunday, next week, Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. I collected money again. Was it last oh, week? yes. Last two weeks from my daughter. Yeah. I collected again for from Precious. Both of them, I saw the seed because of them. Yeah. And they, on so Sunday, the I'm going to give the testimony. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 You gotta learn something. Amen. Our God is an awesome God. There is power in the seed. The seed work. 